we need to be even more serious about the crisis of climate change because in a few years, that will be beyond, beyond repair if we don't act now. So I'm hoping that there will be a spillover uh, from one crisis, this pandemic, to us understanding that the climate crisis is still a very real thing. The one, to my mind, underestimated risk, uh, and it also shows in the risk report, uh, is the environmental risk. The environmental risk um, has been pushed to the second place over the pandemic risk because everybody is now on it. Water reduction. Water will be one of the biggest challenge to, to mankind. There's a need for this industry to step up and provide ideas, provide thoughts, provide solutions where this industry can play a more important part. We would like to see uh, some price discovery around tail risk. We as underwriters have got to get our hand, got to get a handle on it. When you mentioned climate, climate change, uh, this is something we have to work very closely together with scientists. I, I do think I do think we're still chasing as an industry um, climate change. Um, you know, I, I think some amount of the frequency we've seen over the last four years is a result of climate change and is to some extent a new normal. Um, you know, the, the art of it comes in on figuring out how much of it is is what we've got to plan for going forward in terms of our rates and how much of it over time, you know, will we'll work itself out. And the minds of this industry should be around how we can positively, right, help in the future. And I think that's about leadership, right? And I think that's private sector leadership and it's public sector leadership that's needed.